Well, friends, here's a Triumph. I took off the the obnoxious exhaust and got a set of these megaphones. They call them some kind of shaker, but I call them megaphones. Uh, that's what we used years ago, megaphones. Anyway, I uh, let me get a flashlight. Maybe you can see. I don't know. <clears throat> let me get a flashlight so you can see this. I took out the uh, and blocked it off the air injection which is uh, EPA bullshit okay uh, we don't need that shit on our motorcycles we just don't need it okay not where I come from there's a back view looking good now let me do a startup oh here's a I don't know if I showed you my new seat we've done my seat on my fat boy 98 that's a bad boy and of course my chopper okay you talk about a bone buster right there that some bitch is a bone buster when you remove the support tube out of here this whole damn thing just shakes like a rock and roll okay but it gives it a nice line yeah that's a good old shovel boys yeah uh, that's a little more dependable than the pan and a hell of a lot more dependable than this damn nuck and a 45 is kind of dependable if you didn't want to go fast all right all right, let's have a listen to this bad boy. You know the routine. You turn the key on, hold the clutch in till the thing gets through being silly. Oh yeah, I just connected that kickstand bullshit. I lowered it down to 11 inches, dropped two inches on the ass of the dirt bike. Here's a little wrap. Popping and cracking that bitch, did you? No popping and cracking in that body. That's something that's ready to get the job done. Cut this bad boy off. do things a little bit different you know we like to jam slam them okay you can see they give you a bracket that's straight and I uh, I bent that so it give the right conformity to the motorcycle I tighten the clamp up down here first and then I bent this bracket to tie into the rubber mount which I used because it needs to be rubber mounted if anybody ever has their feet on those foot pegs that drive them out of their minds that's the brackets I bent out of the street stock. But there she is, friends. She's been de-EPA'd. Oh, I put a little red plug in there to remind anybody. Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. 2009 Bonnie. Nothing wrong with it. I just got to figure out what I'm going to do about that seat. It's, uh, it's kind of comfortable, but it's not long range comfortable. So I may just have it reupholstered like I did that one and put a white bead around it and put some uh, check pattern or diamond pattern on that bad boy. Hate to lose a Triumph on the back, but you know, I'll sacrifice a little bit. But other than that, I've got a, uh, I'm going to get that cafe nose, the headlight fairy and it goes across here. And that'll pretty well set the, the Triumph out. But I thought I'd give you a sound of that. You can hear... Uh, Makes a hell of a difference on the motorcycle, and who gives a shit, you know? I ride a motorcycle to raise hell. I don't know about the rest of you guys. That's why I'm an antisocial American. <laughs> I was riding motorcycles back in the 60s when it wasn't popular, when the rest of these assholes were trying to take you to jail. Now they're riding them, and they want a little respect. I got your respect hanging, boys. That's what I got to say. Have a good day. God bless you. Hug the kids. Hug the wife. The old Marine One. On July. 31st, 2018. Bye-bye.